Today I'm going to show you a very easy body scrub that you can give as a gift. Men, women, children, and it doesn't even have to be a holiday. But this would be a fantastic Mother's Day gift, especially if you haven't gotten anything yet and it's coming up on Sunday. This would be a really easy last minute gift. If you have a stand mixer with a paddle attachment that makes life easier, if you don't, that's okay. Just make sure that your honey is warmed up so that it's melted and it will be much easier for you to either hand stir or use a hand mixer. I also add olive oil, an essential oil of my choice. Today I went with tangerine. I use vitamin E oil and sugar and as an extra ingredient, which is totally unnecessary, I put in polysorbate 80, which again, I will list below. I get it on Amazon and it just makes the rinsing a little bit easier because anything that has oils in it, whether it's a face wash or a body scrub, if you put a little bit of an emulsifier in there, it makes it rinse off very easily when you use water. So honey gets a really bad rap as being hard to rinse, but actually with warm water, honey rinses off beautifully on its own. So I've used lots of different essential oils. My two favorite are what I made today, which is the tangerine. And then the other one is a combination of lavender and rosemary. Halfway through the mixing process, I scrape everything up and then I mix it again just to make sure everything's incorporated. But this is the consistency you're looking for. It's not too dry, it's not too oily, and it kind of, um, Oh, how do I say it? It kind of, it's not abrasive. It's very soft. That's why I use sugar for this because I also use it on my face as well as everywhere else on my body. And when I package it up, I just use whatever crafts I have laying around. I had some Mod Podge. I had some twine, some cute little uh, mason jars that I got at Goodwill. And I printed up some labels with craft paper on my printer. You don't have to do any of this. All you need to do is maybe even just write it down on a piece of paper and stick it to the jar with a piece of clear packing tape. I just am trying to use up all my crafts because I don't really craft that much anymore. So I used the twine that I got at Home Depot and the Mod Podge that I got from Michaels. And I made cute little labels. And what I'll do is I'll just put them in a cute little bag and I'll be giving them to all the moms in my life. But if you guys want something even simpler than this, you could just put it in a plastic container, honestly, like a Tupperware container. If the honey and sugar combination is not really what you're into, I also make another scrub, which I'm gonna show you here. It's just Epsom salt. You could also use table salt if you wanted to. And I use the solid form of organic coconut oil. And then I use the same um, olive oil and vitamin E oil and of course I throw in some polysorbate 80 and a hot tip I'm going to give you that I've learned over the years is when you are trying to work with the solid form of coconut oil use an ice cream scoop it's so much easier to get it out of the jar and it's easy to measure that way this recipe I would not recommend for the face I would use this on the body hands feet but the honey and sugar scrub, I actually recommend for the face as well because it's not quite as abrasive as this one. Not that this one's gonna hurt, but it's a little more um, of an exfoliator. And when you give it to someone, you can let them know that honey is an antifungal, antibacterial, all natural humectant. It is fantastic for the skin. It clears your pores. People use it as an anti acne. They also use it as an anti-aging um, component. So it's just fabulous all the way around unless you have an allergy to honey or bees, of course. But I use local honey and supposedly if you do that, it also helps with your seasonal allergies. But I think that's if you take it orally. I'll have to look into that. So these body scrubs that I'm making are very, very simple and they can be used in or out of the shower or bath. You can also use a loofah or a dry brush to help with the exfoliation. I personally keep a jar in my shower and I give myself a scrub every other day or so just to get off all the dead skin cells and let my skin kind of recalibrate itself. And I have noticed that some scar tissue that I have on my skin has gotten much smoother and it's faded. So you can't go wrong with this scrub, you guys. 
Happy Mother's Day to all the lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, hardworking mamas out there. Please enjoy yourself and have a great time. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.